The Truckee River Bridge is open, realigning Highway 50 through Tahoe City. It also realigns Highway 89, about a quarter mile from town in Tahoe City. As Paul Nelson shows us, the infrastructure project is expected to reduce traffic and improve safety. Okay, One, two, three. Yeah. This ribbon cutting ceremony marks the completion of a major project. The Truckee River Bridge opened earlier this fall. Now it's a little more official. It's a really nice way to ease traffic congestion and get people in and out of the lake as easy and quickly as possible. The bridge is part of an overall project to improve traffic and safety. It sits between two roundabouts, changing the route of Highway 89. When we're in our peak periods of time, there's still going to be some difficulty, but this is going to help immensely even with that. And other times of the year, it's going to really help with the flow quite a bit. That could be crucial during emergencies like wildfires. The bridge creates two access points for evacuations. Congestion is really an issue when people panic and start getting in their cars and trying to leave the, the basin. So having this secondary route is critical. Officials say realigning Highway 89 costs right around $20 million. And they say that by building this bridge, it'll help ease traffic congestion through Tahoe City. It also helps pave the way for phase two of the project. A major piece of that phase is replacing the 90-year-old Fanny Bridge. It doesn't meet seismic standards. It was built many, many years ago. And so now we'll be able to actually replace it and widen it so we can have pedestrians walking and enjoying it. The new bridge will be wider with sidewalks and bike lanes. A roundabout will go in at the Y at the old route of Highway 89. Some say the plan also has economic value. This new highway will replace the old highway and the old Fanny Bridge, which will become a local road that can be shut down for farmers markets, parades, those sorts of things, really help drive the local economy. Phase two will go out to bid next year. Construction is expected to begin in 2021. Covering the story in Tahoe City, Paul Nelson, 2 News.